Wake the fuck up, motherfucker. You an Armorica. Yo. Okay, people. Where do I begin? I begin by addressing the size of this Panda Express cup. Why are drinks so big in the US? This is outrageous. Okay, people. Welcome to LA. I had the longest day of my entire life yesterday. I think it was like 15 hours of travel. I fasted for the majority of it. Um, and I got a Panda Express when I came here. Just chicken, uh, teriyaki chicken, rice. Anyway, first things first before we get into anything with this trip. I need to unpack, get everything set up today. It's gonna be a mess. I need to weigh myself. Oh. This is either gonna be an extremely disappointing weigh-in or a new low. After yesterday, it better be a fucking new low. Come on. Let's go. That is definitely a new low. Um, today I'm gonna be all over the place. I don't even know if I'm gonna film. I may just get everything set up, get a shop in, unpack. Basically everything with the whole crib in order so I can have a successful day on prep. I'm definitely jet lagged right now. Um, I was up for 24 hours and I slept for five, so. It smells clean as fuck out here. Frosty too, man. Cold. Lad, the crib I'm staying in is, it's no joke. We just have all that to look forward to. absolutely rude of me not to come out right now and enjoy some of these LA rays. <laughs> and what better place to do it than the motherfucking compound. We need a name, lads. Yeah, lads, we need a name for the compound. <laughs> um, I may actually just hold off on Doing the full tour until M gets here and I can do a proper one. Plus, it was of the owner's request when we met up. They're just private people. Um, and I'm not really, like I'm not too keen on trying to milk a video of like, boom, new new crib, LA crib. You know, they always bang, give me a second. <sighs> but yeah, this shit lads is the, is the place. Like this is a, a gaff I would have described when I was like 15 years old, nothing but a fucking Sony A6000 and a dream. And then here I am, fucking how many years later? Damn, bro, it's over 10, I'm old. You get the point, man, it's just, fuck, man, it's times like this. It's, uh, I, I rarely get moments like this. I feel like you almost become numb to whatever life you're gonna live, or you are living, not gonna live. And you have to just keep remembering, do not take shit for granted. Like, I'm gonna sit out here in silence for the next maybe 20 minutes, not watch a video, not listen to music, and just soak it in, bro. This is what life is all about. Fucking just jumping on something, even if it, even if it hurts. Like, this is the shit I'm telling you lot that I used to dream about when I was like a kid. Even before I started this fitness channel. Just all the gaming videos and watching YouTubers in, in LA and the US and shit like that. Yeah, I don't want to get soppy, but um, I got shopping, got the food sorted. I figured out what supermarkets are around. I figured out I'm like a 10 minute walk from Zoo Culture, which is good. Uh, cooked chicken for the next couple of days. What else did I do? Just unpacked, got everything organized, got all the stress off the shoulders. And then I came out the back of this crib and saw a fucking do I shout it now? <laughs> Fuck. Give you a little sneak peek. Fucking basketball court. In the crib. I have my own basketball court. Who the fuck trying to hoop, man? Who trying to put up a rack? Yes, this is it, man. So this is what the life is? It smells funky. It smells like weed around here. I might start smoking weed. Just know I fucking love you a lot. If there's any time this year you want to use the coke Len, now would be a great time. Much appreciated, man. Much needed. Alright? Got bills to pay. Grateful for this shit.
I do always have periods in the year where I'm like, feel fucking down, depressed, stuck in a hole. And it's all worth it when I know I have something like this planned. It just brings the life back out of me, you know? I feel like I lose it when I go home to uh, Dublin. Maybe that's something I need to address. But uh, lock the fuck in for a movie, all right? Like, <laughs> lads, the fuck am I doing with myself? I don't even know. The only reason I done this is because of you lot. All right, I wanted to make this shit a movie for us. I'm always trying to, even if that shit hurts, man. <sighs> Basically, get fucking shredded, bro. In the LA race, I get butt naked in Gold's gym and get arrested. Man, I might hop in the koozie, play a game of b-ball. Can do whatever the fuck I want to do. I also got a mullet. Ground this bitch out this prep. Shred it with a mullet. It's good luck. Well, people, does this gym look familiar? What was the, was it The Rock? Day one or one day? Fuck. I'll tell you what does feel familiar right now. And that is the special weapon I have in my pocket, which is four ghost samples. I have two all out pre's, which is probably gonna be an outrageously bad decision if I wanna sleep tonight. Then again, I'm jet lagged and I need to get through this leg workout. So the artillery needed to be called and then pump because why not? These are all I have right now. While I'm in LA until Sam, if you see this, bro, get some shit over to me. I need that prep restock. Wow, I really can't open a sample pack. There we go, did I say I'm training legs today? I think I did. Also, is this like low key? Am I rocking up in this gym in the, in the enemy's fit? Oh man, I need this so bad. <coughs> Holy shit. Inhale that bitch. I got a day pass as well because I want to check out other gyms while I'm here before I lock in. Wait, there's some left. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let there be some left so I can sleep tonight. Oh. <coughs> okay, day one. Let's see what this gym's all about, man. See what the hype is all about. Everybody DM Bradley Town to train with me. I'm the type of person that even though I'm following that lad since before his old gym, I probably wouldn't even bother um, say what's up if I saw him. Just don't feel like that's, that's a bit of me. All right, I'm gonna get some cardio done. I have 40 minutes to do today. Oh, 40 minutes of cardio on legs. Let's just get it done, man. <coughs> wow, that uh, unflavored natty pump was outrageously bad. Sam, I need the hookup, bro. Okay, folks, we stick to the plan. That's one good thing about being um, on prep or on like a strict workout plan. There's no confusion when you travel because I noticed that's like number one thing that I used to notice when traveling is training would be all over the place. Or just no like real structure to it. And it just felt shit even if it was like a decent session. All right, I have uh, no idea if this is going to be a working test. Six plates aside, could go heavier. It's, uh, it's these mad unexpected sessions where you, uh, where you hit fucking PR. I'm down for as much knee flexion as possible. 
Leg pressing nowadays. Me feels better, man. If you're an OG, you remember I had a knee tendonitis. I'm getting back to it. I'm gonna do two more sets of this. Absolute failure. I may add in another um, another leg press. Feeling bold on this. Two scoops of uh, all out. Feel superhuman. Or maybe I won't. Maybe that's dumb. Yeah, that's dumb as fuck. No earphones for this set. That's what I miss about Alpha Land, man. Alpha Land music, you should not need earphones. This is a sick song, though. Oh, come on, man. Fuck, this feels heavier. Seeing stars. Whew. Whoa. Mm. Oh. oh man. Whew. I have an outrageous leg pump already. Boy from this gym so far. It's good, I thought it was gonna be jammers. Like I pulled up at 6 p.m. And this is like less busy than the gym back home. I'm very surprised about that. If this was like it busy, I could do with this. Oh, I'm slipping in and out of consciousness right now. Shit, it's rough. Holy shit, I had too much caffeine. <laughs> this song is fucking ass. I regret not putting the L earphones on for this one. Ah, oh, come on, man. That's all I have. Fuck, I should have got a spot. I lied. I'm gonna do another press. Tried these out last week after watching one of Sam's videos. Load up maybe three plates. <laughs> I'm done with depression. I just don't have it in me right now. I don't like blaming it on like flights and sore back or whatever it may be. Because I've pushed through those sessions before, but I really am uh, feeling it right now. Yesterday was the longest flight I've been on in years. Got four hours sleep after being awake for 24 hours and just hit a wall there on that set. I'm not even gonna do a drop set or a back off set. I can't believe it. Lion hamstring curls, one set of RDLs, the failure, quad extension, calves. B. 
bed. Food bed. Food water bed. I'm losing it. To do fucking cardio after all this. I'm calling it. I was supposed to do calves, but I've just hit a wall. I don't have to get 25 minutes cardio done, so sometimes you just have to take it on the chin. Today is one of them days. I'm happy with the work I did get done for legs, though. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonski. I feel like I look like I dropped 50 pounds. Holy shit. All right, cardio. Beautiful round here. Good mythical morning. <laughs> Day two in LA. I got an extra hour's night's sleep, so five or six if my calculations are correct. Six hours sleep last night, which is not too bad. I still just have um, a lot of catching up to do with sleep. So I'm gonna try and drain my ass today. That sounds mad sus. Okay, you get the point, and then get an early night tonight, or else stay up late and yeah, I don't know what I want to do with my sleep schedule right now. Anyway, I really want to get this video up today, so with the time difference I have to get it up by 1pm, it's like, it's half 10 right now. Yeah, still experiencing the euphoria right now. Still not used to all this shit. I don't think I ever will be, or if I do, someone slap me. Or I slap the fucking shit out of me. Lads, I have a deal. And this is definitely, this is risky. Because if it plays out, it's a lot. My plan is to, I don't see why not film every day. It's just daily uploads and stuff, unless all of them are banging, it usually hinders the channel. Instead of like one banger weekly upload that just keeps your analytics like this and YouTube's like, okay, this person's dropping in once a week, dropping a banger, let's reward them, because that's what does happen. Um, and then people who spam videos every day, unless they have like a cult following that are checking in every single day, it's hard to keep that hype up on every video and then your analytics just fall and then you are crushed on this platform. So I'm trying to think of a way I can get videos up like just more frequently. I want to be efficient as fuck with this shit. I want to document just the prep as best I can and not just like one hyped video a week. And like I could do that and make it a banger, like try line up sick collabs and stuff. So I'm on the fence, but then again, if I like set maybe like a comment goal or a like goal or something just to keep everything pushing forward, I would be happy to just keep dropping a video. So that could be every day, it could be every second day. It would depend on, like no joke, it would depend entirely on Eula, um, everyone checking in on these prep videos. So if it's just installed in your brain, the moment you click on one of these videos to like it, because you know it's gonna benefit, because you know it's gonna go towards Glenn getting another video up tomorrow, or, or just getting the ball rolling with that. It's just a more, it's more incentive to do it instead of randomly liking videos. I don't know, I don't remember the last time I, I clicked like on a YouTube video. Like no joke, unless there was like a real incentive behind it. So I want to see how this one performs, just in terms of like likes, comments, just engagement in general. And if it's 
if it's high as fuck, I'll just drop another video. And then eventually, if shit's booming every day, I'll go daily. That's just, that is what it is. If it's worth it for me and, and like I'm not afraid of doing, or I'm not afraid of the workload of it. It's just, I don't want to do more work for less. Does that make sense? Like do more work when it actually hinders the growth and you do less and gain more. It's, it's lopsided. Yeah. Uh, Social media nowadays. But yeah, I'm down, man. What could a light goal be to make me want to do daily? I need to set a high, man. I need to set a number that's that I don't usually hit. Or that I, I would need people to actually try and hit. So I'm going to say 2K. 2K likes. And just everybody comment, man. Anyone who wants to see eventually daily, just comment. Takes two seconds. Um, I just wanna, I want reassurance that it's worth it. I don't wanna fuck up what I have going. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense because I am putting a lot of work in off camera, and I, I really want. I just wanna. How do I put it? I want this to be the most successful prep series. Yeah, that's where the heads are. Cool day today. Probably gonna film straight after I end this. Gonna check out. Some more kill gym soon. Alright, tune back in. And it's set. If you hit 2k likes, I don't know. It's just everybody comment. I'm not gonna make it make it an outrageous task. Just stay engaged, man. The more engagement I have, I'll keep dropping. It's just that's just what it is. And maybe like 10k views. If we're hitting consistent 10ks, I'll keep dropping. And hopefully it goes up. We'll see. I'm not promising anything. That's just where the heads are right now. Cause I do, I wanna, I wanna just pump content out. Like be super fucking efficient. Anyone wants to make clips for me, let me know. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. And I'm talking good ass clips, not someone who's editing videos two months and they clip up like unfunny moments and shit. I need someone with some skin in the game, man. You know, people who can pick up on humor and sarcasm and put together good clips from the videos. Like if I could bang out 10 clips per video, efficiency. Yeah, folks, I'm going to wrap this up. 2K likes, just drop a comment and sub. Who knows, maybe we'll hit 100K before I die. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. 15K likes and I move here permanently. Without a visa. And document it. This series will be called The Risk. I'll probably end up in jail. I saw a lizard down there earlier. I'm gonna go down and see if I can find him, man. Name him. That's my brother right there. Do it.